Hey guys, this is Stuart again, and today we are going to be having a look at how to turn this into this. So the first thing you're going to notice about this kit is that it's not one kit, it's actually two. The first kit is a demonstration model that you're going to build and you use that to build this. All right, that's something that we've pre-designed and you really just have to assemble it. The second kit is a project kit and so there's a slight difference to this one. You have to design and build it yourself. We've included the materials that you need and this is more of the project side of things. The difference between the two is also based on the content that we've covered over the term. So this catapult is based on a third class lever as the main catapult. The trigger is a first class lever. This catapult is going to be based on a first class lever principle and I'll show you some examples of what that's going to be and how this project is going to work later. Right. So let's get started and see what we've got inside this kit. I'm going to open it up and empty these pieces out. Right, so you will find that you've got two main catapult sides that have been profiled. You will also have one thing of this. This is the cross members on um, your base. Then you've got a bunch of bits and pieces, sticks, some elastics. You should have four elastics. You won't probably won't need all four. Um, you've got some ammunition in the form of pink sweets, which I probably wouldn't recommend eating, especially not after you've shot it under the couch a hundred times. You've got two skewers and four ice cream stick slash coffee stirrer things. You've got a spoon and you have this funny little thing which is cut out of acrylic and is your trigger mechanism. You also have a section of black sticky tape kind of stuff which we've called curious gum. Curious gum is basically just a industrial kind of press stick um, and this is used all over the place, but it's also a really uh, cool, fastening, easy kind of glue stuff that we use to hold our kits together. It never goes hard. Um, it also uh, kind of stays sticky, but it doesn't get too much more sticky or less sticky depending on the temperature. So that's a pretty ideal method or mechanism for connecting things all over the place. And then a piece of paper to say that you can go and find us on YouTube. So this is basically like instructionception because you're watching this on YouTube. All right. So. How do we build this thing? Well, it's actually really easy. You're going to start with this and you're going to separate these pieces into the three components. If you want to do it super neatly, then you can cut them with a knife. Um, I don't want to tear them, so I'm just going to go like that and like that. Now I have got three separate components. This is really not complicated. You're going to take the first one and you're going to slot it into the slots so that it looks like that. Then you're going to take the other side and you're going to do the same. You can see that this is a super complex design project. Right, so that's the start of your catapult. You can see it taking shape already. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna slide it in on the back. When there's two connected together already, it's Lines requires a little bit more alignment and wiggling from side to side to get it nicely slotted in. And then finally, you're going to take this one and you're just going to start slotting it in on the tip, but you're not going to push it all the way through because we wanted to give it some support, but 
it gets in the way for the next step. So I'm just going to start the process off, get it lined up, but not push it all the way in. So you can see it's sticking out a bit on this side. Cool. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take these ice cream stick skewer, no, coffee stirrers, and we are going to measure them out so that they stick out a little bit more than the width of our bases. The reason we want to do that is we want them to slide through the holes in the side and this starts to act as the pivot point for our catapult. So you can see that they go through there like that. You can, if you really, if you just want to get this thing working and go as quickly as possible, you can snap them off in the middle and you can use basically a half and a half. If you want to do it super neatly, you can carefully measure and cut them to the right length. That's up to how OCD you are. But for the sake of simplicity and quickness of this video, I'm just going to snap it. So we're going to go one and two and stick it through there and three and four right so now you'll see that you've got four sticks stuck all the way through um, and that is going to form this the core sort of mechanism for holding our catapult arm and we're going to stick that through the middle like that between the two and it's going to hold it in place so there's like basically already a kind of working catapult mechanism but we're going to make it like even better next what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your elastic bands and you're going to hook it around the bottom of the one side like that bottom of the spoon you're going to pull it around over the top you're going to try and keep it quite tight you're going to pull it across like that and then it's quite tricky you need to get it over the other side and then back down and hook it over you might need to take that off makes it easier and you're going to hook it back over the same part that you connected it onto earlier on. Now, if you can get the tension on the elastic to be even all the way around, it'll make it slightly less prone for the spoon to pull to the left or to the right, which can be a problem. But that's fine for now. Now we can take this part and we can slot it in properly because the fiddly bit is out of the way. Wiggle, 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 yeah. And it's in place. Right, so now we have our catapult. Boom, it works. So far, we can stick President Prisoners. He's still pretty angry about the introduction. And we can shoot him like that. Wow, that hit my camera stand. Stop marbling. Cool, so now we want to be able to add a trigger mechanism to our catapult. And the cool thing about that is that we can add another lever into this whole system. So this is our trigger mechanism. It's made out of acrylic. The brand name for acrylic is Perspex. This is made out of Perspex, but the material is actually called acrylic. And it's got a protective layer of plastic on it to prevent it from getting scratched while it's being processed and moved around and transported and stuff. So you're gonna peel that off and just throw that away responsibly then you're going to take one of your skewers and you're going to measure it to the length of again going straight through like we've done with the sticks it needs to go all the way through and we're going to do two that can go through those holes so i'm going to measure based on the squares underneath this thing and it should be i don't know maybe 70 i'll just cut it like that I found a cool way of cutting these um, skewers neatly is to roll it under a blade so that it makes like a little score line like that and then if you scored it all the way around then you can just snap it off and it cuts very nice and neatly and then you can see that that's a nice length to go around. So I'm going to cut another one of those and I'll make it the same length because 
I feel bad about making the first stick parts so shoddily and I'm gonna roll all the way around and snap be careful when you're using a knife you can cut yourself especially if it's a knife like this these are really really sharp cool so you're gonna take your trigger mechanism you're gonna stick the one skewer in the top hole and then you're gonna slide it through you're gonna stick your trigger mechanism in it should fit I try to tolerance it right when I made the kits and you're gonna slide it along so this has actually got a really nice firm grip already and you can see that now we need to slide the spoon up and down to get it to fit because it's not quite like you know clearing that stick so we've got to push this down a little bit until it fits nicely with clearance okay and you can you can fiddle around with your triggers um, play to to get it so that you have like a hair a hairs trigger um, but obviously if you push it too far then this little part over there is not going to catch on the spoon nicely and your trigger is not going to work but that's looking pretty good but now we don't want our trigger to just be floppy like this all the time because it's not able to actually really work properly as a trigger mechanism so that's what the other side is for we can lift this up we slide this through the second hole and then it slots in slide it through the opposite side to keep it in the view of the camera would be helpful yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and now our trigger doesn't go further back than what we want it to. So you can see you've got a nice trigger hole position. Boom. Right, and the cool thing is that it, because of its gravity, you can reload it, fire it, reload, fire, reload, fire. Right, so that's how our trigger mechanism works. The only problem is that the trigger mechan mechanism can slide to the left and the right, and that's the last real step that we need to get right. And so we're going to take the remaining section or pieces of our coffee stirrer stick, and we're gonna cut two sections at about two centimeters long. And again, work neatly if you can, if you have the patience. Cut these two little pieces over here, and they're about two centimeters long. Next, we're gonna take some two, two small blobs of curious gum, and we're gonna stick them behind these guys there, and there. And we're just going to use these to stick on to our triggers mechanism over here to hold it in place so that it stops it from sliding up and down. Try not to get any of the curious gum on the sticking out the side so that it jams up the trigger, but you can push that down over there. And if we fire the trigger, we can see that the trigger is more or less free to move up and down and it can't slide to the left and to the right now. So there we go. What you can do is to prevent your other section sliding out I see this one has already slid out before I stuck that on, so I should have done it the other way around. Um, you can use the rest of your Curious Gum to just stick them on the sides so that these don't slide out. Um, if you want to, you can also use the baseboard that we've provided and you can use the Curious Gum to stick it down onto the base so that you've got a solid um, mount for your catapult but it doesn't really need it so there you go you have a working catapult um, adjust your your spoon um, up and down a little bit to get to, to the optimum position for the trigger mechanism to work that's too far you have to pull the trigger too much so I'm gonna push it down a little bit that's actually quite perfect you just want it just to catch on the edge there enough so that it's reliable and it doesn't go off accidentally um, but you also find that every time it shoots, it, it tends to shift upwards a little bit. So 
something else that you could try is using some of your curious gum or some of the extra elastics to really secure that in place so that it doesn't move once you've got it um, in the right position. You can see here it's not quite it's a little bit too oh that's actually pretty good. Um, then just a little pull of the trigger and boom your catapult fires. And there you have it. That is the first catapult uh, model that you've built. Go and test it, see how far you can get it to shoot, how accurately you can get it to shoot. Um, set up some targets, shoot your pink sweets, find a Lego man, shoot him or shoot at him. Have fun and experiment with your example of first and third class levers. But I'm sure some of you are saying, well, what about this kit? Well, this kit, as I said before, is a kit where you get to apply what you know about levers to build your own catapult. We've included some wood glue to be able to glue your cardboard and your sticks and things together. We've included a spoon. You, we haven't included um, more ammunition because you can use that from your other kit. Anything that's left over from your other kit, you can also use for the construction of your own Catapult. So I'll show you some examples of what you can build with this kit. Here is a very simple example of a uh, first class lever catapult. So this one allows you to adjust the distance by pulling it up and letting it go. If you pull it up to the top, then you can experiment and see how it changes the way that your um, catapult fires but this is going to require you to carefully draw out your own design plan it ahead and then see what you can come up with as a working model here's another quite an interesting one I don't even know if it's gonna fit under the catapult but at least under the camera but here pull it down and boom this one's got an adjustable distance launcher thing that somebody built in I think it had some kind of trigger mechanism but this was built with the materials that we've included in your kit you guys need to come up with your own catapult using a first class lever principle the reason that this is a first class lever is because the pivot is in the middle and the effort and the load are on either end have fun and send us pictures of what you've built with this kit